So a lot of you may be wondering uh, what multiple sclerosis may look like on an MRI. And uh, this is uh, actually a very important subject that can confuse a lot of uh, patients and doctors alike. So I placed a sample multiple sclerosis patient here. The MRI can really show you uh, what MS looks like this is actually what I consider a classic example. Here we have what we call a flare image that's sagittal. So here is the nose, here is the back of the head, that's very clear. And on these, on these sequences, the multiple sclerosis plaques can be seen fairly obviously. So if we uh, start in the middle and go to either side, you'll see some uh, classic examples. One is this area here. So you can see that plaque there. It's a bright, uh, perpendicular oriented uh, plaque. Here's another one here that, again, is perpendicular oriented towards the corpus callosum. And as we move to either side, there will be other lesions that uh, can be identified. Here's another classic one. Again, the orientation of the plaque being perpendicular or at right angles against the corpus callosum, this midline structure, often identify it as a, a demyelinating like lesion or multiple sclerosis lesion. And here's another one here. And uh, again, perpendicular oriented uh, lesions, especially against the central structures such as the corpus callosum, are often uh, seen in multiple sclerosis patients. Another classic lesion can be seen here, this area here, is something we see and often people refer to it as juxtacortical because it, it's between the cortical gyri on top. And um, if we uh, look at other sequences, uh, for example, this uh, axial uh, flare signal where the slices are taken from the bottom to the top in an axial fashion, you can see some classic examples. And as we move up, so as we know, multiple sclerosis affects primarily the white matter of the brain. And here's a uh, classic example of, again, a perpendicularly oriented uh, plaque. What is this orientation perpendicular to? Well, you can see it's perpendicular to this ventricle, this fluids filled space here. And as we move forward, further up, you can see some other classic examples, such as this lesion here. And again, uh, multiple sclerosis lesions often like uh, to abut or uh, be adjacent to ventricular space. That's one of the uh, preferences of these lesions. And here's a giant one here. And if we move back up, you can see other lesions. Uh, here's again a round lesion um, closer to the CSS space but within the white matter proper. And um, <clears throat> there are literally dozens of these as we move up in the brain. So, um, and you can see again here is a nice juxtacortical lesion that's placed here in an um, semi-circular semi -circular fashion. Uh, these are very classic examples of multiple sclerosis lesions. Now, if we compare that to what we see with typical small vessel ischemic disease or migraine patients, you don't really see the uh, prevalence of <clears throat> necessarily this orientation of the plaques. Uh, you don't see the juxtacortical lesions nearly as much. And um, so there are some distinguishing features that can uh, make these uh, a bit more likely to be MS than just simple multiple, uh, uh, migraine or small muscle ischemic changes. Um, most small muscle ischemic uh, abnormalities uh, accumulate in a um, sort of <clears throat> uh, 
collective fashion against the periventricular white matter. And they're not singular lesions. They are multiple small areas, hence why the small vessel ischemic changes that uh, surround the ventricles in a uh, confluent manner. Whereas multiple sclerosis, you see spotty singular plaques that uh, uh, are, again, in a 90 degree angle. This is a coronal image again. Uh, here, the slices are gone through, are going through a vertical angle. And again, this is a very nice semicircular uh, oriented juxtacortical lesion here. Uh, I'll show you uh, other samples of how this distinguishes itself from small muscle ischemic disease and migraine plaques. Uh, and that can often uh, be confusing and they may look similar but there are some distinguishing features. Thank you.